What's up? How's it going? I think I forgot to change my background noise settings. There we go. I gotta bring my controller out too. I don't know if that went through. It's turning off some stuff. Controller. Set up any button. Here we go. We don't have a um, gotcha machine yet, I should say. Usually, I start with gotcha machine so we can just wait till people get in, but we're still in prologue. Let me just throw up my follower live notification bum ba dum bum ba dum bum bum all right here we go Continue. This is in Kaede's voice, right? So, after Monokuma and the Monocups left, an alarm suddenly rang from my monopad. Not just from mine. The alarm was going off throughout the whole gym, which meant Everyone else had received the monopad as well. When I took mine out, a message was displayed on the screen. Ultimate Academy e-handbook. Ah. Students must live at the Ultimate Academy for the remainder of their foreseeable future. Once a murder takes place, all surviving students must participate in a class trial. If the black index exposed during the class trial, they alone will be executed. If the Blacken is not exposed, all remaining students will be executed. If the Blacken survives the class trial, they will graduate and re-enter the outside world. The killing game and class trials will continue until only two surviving students remain. Huh. Night time is from 10pm to 8am. The dining hall and gymnasium are off limits at night. Violence toward Monokuma, the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, is strictly prohibited. Monokuma will never directly commit a murder. Your monopads are very important items. Please do not damage them. The body discovery announcement will play when three or more students discover a body. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore the campus at your discretion. Students who violate these rules will be immediately exterminated by the Exocells. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Dak? Yeah, I did get the ads going. Apparently, there is a game, well, a program, I should say, called Danganronpa Photo AR. And that includes rips of all the student, like, profile pictures, I guess? Like, um, just their neutral expressions. So that was very handy. Last time I had to do a bunch of like Photoshop work to get them to come out good. This time they were all uh, transparent backgrounds, neutral expressions, full body profile. So I didn't have to mess up anything. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Anyways, we're gonna keep going through these rules, I guess. The headmaster may add new regulations to this list at any time. You gotta be kidding me. Can't wait to see what you add onto their faces over the course of this high school adventure. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, the only thing I think of right now is like putting bugs all over Gonta, but it's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. It's not really funny. Uh, we'll see how each character. 
Each character reacts to various environmental things, I guess. I don't know what their thing is, really. Gotta come naturally, yeah. Gotta hit on those memes. I will never, I will never participate in a killing game. Maybe I'll have to bring Copium back. Or Hopium? Yeah, Hopium. We don't have Nagato here, though. My perpetual What? Chapter class trial? Or class trial? Okay, daily life. <laughs> the squiggling bracket mouth on Tenko. Amami is the next best thing. Rentaro Amami. <laughs> the ultimate academy for gifted juvenile school regulations. So these are the rules. I do not understand why someone would force us to do this. But... but the rules are pretty cut and dry. This game doesn't seem like it'll be boring. You gotta be kidding me! That's not the problem! Listen. Please lower your voice. It is ruining the atmosphere. Oh yeah. Hey, hey! What does this sixth regulation mean? The oh by the way, never mind. Oh right, Angie has some has an accent. Only two surviving students? What would be the reason for that? I mean you can't kill each other, right? I guess you could, but then there wouldn't be a class trial. It'd just be like a <laughs> a murder. Like a one on one uh murder fest. <laughs> Dimension, never mind, actually. <laughs> That's... Perhaps it's because you couldn't do a trial of just two people. I see, I see. Could you do it with three? I guess you could. Yeah, I guess you can't do it with two. So when you're down to three, actually, it's just... Um... When you're down to three, it's a murder fest, right? Well, I was going to say it was a massive spoiler, okay. I guess when it's down to three, it's a murder fest because you can't have a class trial afterwards. So it's just whoever survives out of the three. Anyways, I don't know how to phrase it, but... What happens when it's down to four? I guess you could still have a murder. You would have one black and, and two voters, right? Two like non-blackened. And you have to figure out which one is the blackened still. Yeah. Whoever <laughs> kills the other two. <laughs> People need to see a body at the same time so the alarm wouldn't ring. Right. <clears throat> that too, yeah. Say so this game doesn't focus on the whole hope versus despair narrative like the first two. Well, we don't have... Uh... <laughs> we don't have Nagito in this game. Oh, maybe Nagito will show up later, but... Nagito's not a student in this game, so... <laughs> not as much opium, okay. Always messing around. Qu quit screwing around. Killing game, school regulations. To hell with all that crap! Who go along with something like that? Kaido raised the monopad as if to smash the device on the ground. Oh. Whoa, hey now, don't do that. School rules say you can't break it. Hmm. If you violate the rules, then the exocells will dispose of you. What? I don't care about the rules. No, I'm gonna play this messed up game. No. This isn't about playing the game. It's too dangerous to just spam now. Forget about him. Just means one less dumbass for the world to deal with. Shut up. Hey, who are you calling a dumbass? I took a deep breath and shouted with all my might. Jeez. Oh, hey, quit fighting already. Whoa. Whoa. What the? Jeez. We shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves. Right now, we need to work together. Honestly, I'd probably be more inspiring if I played a song than gave a speech. Mm -hmm. Chopin's military polonaise would definitely help unite us. Right? Yeah, I could get behind some Bologna. <laughs> I could buy some Bologna. <laughs> what is Bolognese? Bolognese? 
and I don't even like meat or tomatoes. I agree with Kaede too. We must remember who the real enemy is. Master told me that strength must always be aimed in the proper direction. Anyway, you're all panicking too much. Just stay calm, like me. Bolognese? Bo I know bologna is pronounced weird, so bolognese? 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 Wow! <laughs> You're shaking so much. I can't do her accent. I can't do her accent justice at all. Even I can't handle these intense vibrations, and trust me, I've got loads of experience. Okay, Mew. Anyway, why don't we work together and search for an exit one more time? But, but we looked all over that wall, and there wasn't a single hole. Did you really? Did anyone actually look at the wall? Please wait. Now, wait a second. If there's no opening in the wall, then how do we get inside these walls in the first place? Uh -huh. Oh, good point. <laughs> Average Mew? I don't know. That means there must be an opening somewhere. We just have to find it. Whoever trapped us here wants us to fight each other. All right. So let's show them that we're not going to let that happen. We're not going to fight each other. We're going to work together, okay? Hmm. Um. Why are you quiet? Did I say something wrong? I do not agree. On the contrary. You made your case with such success a plumb <laughs> that we've been rendered speechless. <laughs> my vocabulary, my lack of vocabulary rather, is uh, gonna be a problem. <sighs> I was gonna say the same thing, but you beat me to it. Got it. You're exactly right. We can't give up so easily. Come on, come on. Let's build up and try to find the exit. Ooh. Oh, I do it. Give us strength. Wow, impressive. I must admit. I admire your spirit. Hey. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. What is it? We were just about to get started. Um. Um. Maybe it not matter much, but gone to find manhole earlier in grass behind school building. Huh? A manhole. Going to peek in, see big underground passage. Think maybe it exit. But. Sorry. Is probably not so simple. You gotta mention important stuff like that much faster! Go on top peek and see big underground passage! Think maybe exit! Uh, no. Wait, not like that. You're talking too fast. Either way. The boiler is behind the school building. We must corroborate Gonta's claim at once. Gonta, please lead the way. Got it. Okay, everyone follow Gonta. With Gonta leading us, we hurried out of the gym. Just when I was about to follow after them. Wow, impressive. Katie, that was pretty cool back there. Huh? Huh? What was? How should I put this? The way you changed the mood completely? Seems like everyone looks up to you. Well... Looks up to me? Come on, that's ridiculous. I just spoke from the heart, is all. So unsure. So it comes just naturally to you then. That's even more cool. <laughs> you have what it takes to win. Huh? What? That means. I was just thinking, what you said back there would have pissed off whoever's running this. They definitely don't want us holding hands, working together. I'm sure. They're gonna come for you, Cade. With <laughs> Kate, Kaede, Kaede, Kaede. They're gonna come for you, Kaede, with everything they've got. I'm a little worried about you. You're just so um, straightforward. Uh. And away he goes. That guy could really stand to be less cryptic. That's true. Uh, perhaps it's a warning. That's what I think, anyway. Being strong-willed could get you in a lot of trouble around here. Sorry. Ah, uh, sorry. I didn't mean to sound so negative at a time like this. It's fine. You only said that because you're worried, aren't you? But... Yeah. Rantaro's a mystery. He forgot his ultimate talent as well. Is that something you can really forget? Mm -hmm. 
Well, there's no use thinking about it right now. We should just head to that manhole. Okay. Uh, you're right. We probably shouldn't waste our time thinking about things like that. All right. Yeah, let's get a check with the others. Okay. What else can we see here? Nothing? Just the monitor? Okay. Guess we can blow some stuff up, maybe. Four dollars, holy smoly. I wonder what the economy is like in this game. I don't know how much we get from trials. Where are we? Oh, yes. Right. So we gotta go find the boiler? What's this? It says, Ancient Passport. I wonder if it means anything. The one on the left says heart. The one on the right says study? I think? I don't know. I have to brush up on my kanji. What is this? Hello, little guy. Obtain hidden Monokuma. Oh, that's a thing in this game. <laughs> that's so weird. Can we like hit things in this mode? No. Okay. Uh, I don't remember where we're supposed to go. Is this door open? Behind the school building. Okay, I have to go outside, I guess. Mister, okay, don't mind me. Oh, they cleared out the tree trunk. Whee! Wait, is it in here? I guess it must be. I thought it'd be outside, but. Looks like we're all here. So, where's this manhole? Um, um, over there, in grass. Huh? Oh, this thing? Should we talk to everyone first, left or right? Cursor in this game kind of weird. I'm gonna use my mouse for the cursor. Wow, look at all these weeds. This place could definitely use a groundskeeper. Right, key boy? Please stop. Why are you calling me that? Furthermore, I would prefer if you address me as Kibo. But... But you can pull weeds, right, Keyboy? Well, of course. I can do all sorts of things just as well as any person. Huh? As well as any person. But you're not a person. It's robophobic. That's discrimination. Robophobic discrimination. How should I we should investigate the manhole right away. If it's an exit, it's only a matter of time until Monokuma comes for us. What's wrong? Now's all the time to be shouting and celebrating. Even if this really is the exit, it's all over and Monokuma catches us. That's right. I agree. We need to be quick about this. No, we need to get as much dialogue as possible. And the ground opens up before us, as though inviting us downward. Once we are swallowed by darkness, will we be able to return to the light? <laughs> okay. Do these things, these monitors have cameras? I guess they must, right? Otherwise, so, like every game has cameras all around the school, so. 
Quote, wasting my time, you kooky bitch. Hurry up already, chop chop. Okay. <laughs> it's like a super secret entrance. I'm so excited. What's up, Maddie? Welcome, welcome. Are two as excited as I am? I know, because he told me. Welcome to this chaotic game known as V3. Killing Harmony. So, a manhole was hidden in a place like this, huh? Well, you can't... Okay. Well, you can't hide stuff in the eyes of Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. But Kanta found it. What's wrong? Manhole and grass over there. There's a monitor here, too. That aside, this is a rather remote location to install a communication device. It's a pointless expenditure, wouldn't you agree? Good point, good point. Down the manhole, huh? You think there are creepy creatures down there? What's there to be afraid of? Even if the rats are as big as cats, Himiko can blast them away with her magic! It's impossible. <laughs> That's not possible. If I use my magic down there, the entire passage might explode. Ooh. Your magic is so powerful! I'll protect you! Well then, though I may be unworthy, I will protect you, Himiko. Mm-hmm. Mm I'll leave it to you. Simigi's hiding. Come on, Sumigi, get out of here. Wait. We need to be careful, or those monsters might appear again. You're right. Mm. Are you feeling down? Do you want some magical powder to cheer you up? Magical powder? What? It's not a dangerous kind of powder, is it? What did you bring with you? What purpose does this facility serve? One would assume that all this greenery would interfere with the machinery. Does this mean preparations were not completed before we arrived? What's wrong? Beautiful lesbian relationship between the two characters. Oh, an ASCII representation, okay. <laughs> Himiko seems like she needs cocaine to wake up. <laughs> she really does, doesn't she? Magic powder. <laughs> Hurry up. Does she want to escape from here? She has a perpetual W face. Um. So. <clears throat> so there's even grass out here. Ah, be careful of the roots, everybody. Okay, it's everyone, right? Are we missing anyone? Rentaro's no- oh no, Rentaro's on the left, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. What? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, I didn't touch the Tenko, she's been hiding. Though it's hidden by grass, there's definitely a manhole over here. Typical degenerate male. You peeping toms love to find things you weren't meant to see. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. It's true. There really is a manhole in the grass. <laughs> An important hole near some bush? Sounds familiar, am I right, ladies? Ah, oh, this mantle cover looks heavy. Can we even lift it? Leave it to me. I can try. Kibo places his hands on the manhole cover, and with all his strength, he. My apologies. Uh, how embarrassing! It won't even budge. Huh? Oh, a robot's not even strong enough to move it. Listen closely. Oh, don't worry. My physical strength is approximate to that of a strong senior citizen. That's fucking pathetic! <laughs> uh, 
the professor did not want a repeat of the tragedy that occurred during trial production. Um, now I'm just plain curious about what happened during that trial. Allow go to <laughs> Mio so I need you came on a human for a second. Yeah, her voice is not ingrained in my brain yet. I gotta practice that. She's like I'm trying to do like the What's it called? Like the Valley Girl vibe for her. But it doesn't really fit a lot of her lines. Anyways, I'll I'll practice it. I'll get I'll get used to it. Oh, then allow Gonta. Going to lift cover before to peek inside. Should be able to pick up cover too. Got to place his hands on the manhole cover and. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Your magic powder, Himiko. From the second game? But with nowhere to dispose of the manhole cover, Gonta begrudgingly tossed it aside. The manhole cover easily traveled five yards before he hit the ground. Holy shit. <laughs> what wonderful strength. You could likely crush a child's skull with ease. Gonta never do that? How oh, ungentlemanly! Gonta never do that. Gentlemen or not, no one would do that. But, but Gonta is so much more reliable than some bean counting robot. Are you talking about me? Because I can count many things, not just beans. While everyone else is talking, I slowly peeked into the manhole. Oh, <laughs> it's Hmm, yes, I was just thinking the same thing. It was too dark inside to see clearly, but I could feel cold, moist air drifting up from it. Actually, this place is kind of creepy. We're really going in there? Got it. I'm sure it's fine. At the very least, we definitely won't die down there. I'll protect you. If anything happens, I'll protect most of you. But the degenerate males are on their own. Going to protect you. Then. Going to protect men, folk. It's true. Awfully quiet. Where are Monokuma and the Monocubs? I see. Yes. I was certain they would show up at some point and crush us like rotten knots. <laughs> they probably haven't noticed yet. I see. And let's hurry before they show up to mess with us. One by one, we descended down into the manhole. Do we all have to go down? I guess we're all going down. Once we all had climbed down from the ladder, we looked around and saw an open area. Oh, it's a really big area. <laughs> it's more spacious than I thought it'd be. <laughs> Yoda lay here. What is it? What is this place? That is correct. An old industrial passageway, I suspect. Perhaps factories once existed here. Ah. Yeah, and this is all that's left of them. Hey. Hey, take a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> what a considerate sign. Apparently the end of the tunnel is the exit. Um. Considerate? Don't you think it's weird that someone went out of their way to write exit? <laughs> Don't piss yourself in fear. Your natural sentence is bad enough. Uh, I'm not scared, and I smell just fine. Hey. Well then, go on ahead. No point standing around here. That's... Uh, yeah. yeah. No need to worry. Hmm. It looks a bit dangerous, but we're all ultimates here. Yeah, that's right. As long as we work together, everything will work out just fine. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. That's exactly what I was going to say. We're really on the same wavelength, Kate. <laughs> Give me a hug. No. 
Um, no. Ugh, degenerate males. <laughs> Typical degenerate behavior. You were trying to trick her into pressing her boobs against you. <laughs> Is that the end of the convo? Okay. I guess we'll go right to left for dialogue. You're too weak, Kibo. Let me remodel you and I'll make you the strongest robot ever. They <laughs> just let one, one slide. That being said. First, I'll soup you up. I'll soup up your crotch plate by installing a nice thick one. Just how I like it. <laughs> okay, Mew. Okay, maybe you should, uh... I wonder what kind of things she invents, huh? Not the only one. Also, let that one slide. Oh, whoops. We're gonna escape from the underground passage. We should be careful of dangerous creatures. Does everyone have their protect gear? Hey now. Just kidding. It was just a joke. No. Besides, something worse might show up. Is that a reference to something? So it was Exit. Gonta glad he tell everyone. Come everyone, Gonta protect you. <laughs> yes, this will be the end of the game. You're so amazingly strong, Gonta. I want a piggyback ride. Uh, okay. uh if we all work together, it'll be okay. I'm sure of it. Okay, same thing again. Right. Oh, it echoes pretty well. Must be pretty big then. Hey, hey. A giant underground passage is so exciting. I want to play hide and seek in here. Um, hide and seek? <laughs> I am the master of hide and seek. You got me. As a supreme leader of an evil organization, I'm always on the run from the law. And over time, I just became a total pro at hiding. It's a lie. <laughs> Just kidding. That was a lie. I see. Yeah, I thought so. How should I put this? Well, we gotta keep trying. Nothing's gonna change if we don't try. Okay, I'm afraid of what Tenko has to say. Piece of cake. Don't worry. If something happens. Oh. Then I'll protect the girls by using all the degenerate males as human shields. Okay. <laughs> What's the matter? What's up? You want to give me that hug after all? No. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> hey, you don't gotta hold back. We're two of a kind, you know. Hey. Hey, you two. Quit flirting. Can't you read the air? Don't around. We're not flirting. You guys are annoying. Because if we're going, let's hurry up already. It'll be a pain if Monokuma and his cubs appear. Always to the point. It's dark here. If we're gonna keep going, we need a light. Uh, then shouldn't you use magic to light it up? You know, like Lumos or something. Uh, It'll be okay. We should be fine without a light. <laughs> Magic power is precious. I need to save it for when we really need it. I see. Um, okay. In any event. One Kokiichi yodel earlier. His echoes reminded me of tales told in the mountain villages. They believe that voices echoing off the mountains are replies from Yanabiko, and the spirit. Oh. Uh, this may take too long. I shall save the rest for after we have safely escaped. Thank you. It's quite dusty in here. Prolonged exposure to this polluted air may be detrimental to one's health. Huh? What? Polluted air bothers you? But you don't even breathe air, right? That's... Well, that is... Well, it's true that I do not breathe. 
Uh, I also do not like polluted air more than you do. Okay. I see. So you have a function for something poisonous gases. Well then, lead the way! <laughs> no, I don't have that function. Do I look like a canary to you? What? You don't? Then you're even more useless than a canary. Ugh. Casual Harry Potter F, yeah, the Lumos thing. Even if this is a trap, all we need to do is fight and struggle our way out of it. It'll be dangerous, of course, but it's better than rotting away here. That is An underground passage that has not been in use for some time must be quite dangerous. But if everyone wishes to proceed, then I will do my best to support that decision. Okay, the politically neutral Kirimi Tojo. And I guess we're out of here, right? There's a monitor down here. It's a monitor for communicating with us. There's nothing displayed right now. Well, they obviously know about this thing. See ya. Can you just blow up the exit? No. <laughs> the sign says exit and everything. What a cruel joke. What's the point of going back? We gotta move forward. Okay, fine. 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 Oh, here we go. Okay. It'll probably be okay. There'll be an exit at the end of this. And once we reach it, this'll all be over. I just know it. I clung fiercely to that belief as we stepped into the tunnel. You're about to take on the death road of despair! <laughs> oh boy! The objective is simple. Everyone works together to escape. Press the left stick and the D-pad directional buttons to move. And press the B button to jump. You'll encounter plenty of traps set up to prevent you from escaping. If you hit a trap or fall off a ledge, that person will be eliminated and controls will switch to the one of the remaining students. If everyone is eliminated, game over, man. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean for things to get that real. For now, stay vigilant and do your best to reach the exit. Not that it matters. Okay. Interesting. Oh, it's like uh Oh, I'm dead. Everyone be careful. Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit. Okay. The controls are very slidey. Might be the guy, yeah, but is the precision is pretty Oh fuck, oh wait, oh shit, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit. Come back, come back. What the fuck? Oh fuck! Oh I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> As I slowly opened my eyes, it dawned on me that I had somehow lost consciousness. Uh, oh. Are you feeling all right? You're awake. Are you all right? Uh, I'm fine. But what about everyone else? I looked around and saw the others sitting on the ground. Mm. Everyone sat in stunned silence. A sobering sadness filled the air. Jeez, this is quite the pity party you sad sets are throwing for yourselves. Huh? Monokuma?
Wow, you all look exhausted. Poor things. I feel sorry for you. Sheesh, this place is filthy. It's murder on my cashmere skin. Oh, I bet Motodam is feeling lucky right now. His body's already a cheap piece of junk. Hey. Why don't you respond to him, Monodam? He'll liven things up a little, you know. <laughs> so you guys crawl out of your holes? I guess you finally noticed what we were up to. Noticed? I've known for a while that you guys would botch whatever escape plan you had. Huh? What? Um, yeah. I also kind of pretty much knew too. What are you saying? That's a lie. Then? If you knew all along, then this was just a trap. You're the worst of the worst. Now there was no exit. You tricked us. Don't worry. No, there's an exit. So. I think you guys will manage to reach it if you all work together. Please. Yeah, there's nothing you 16 Ultimate can accomplish if you work together. And if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. <laughs> try as many times as you want until you accept reality. <laughs> so long, <farewell. laughs> oh, come on, I kid. Mm, so we can escape if we work hard enough. No way, you little moron. They'd be freaking out if we could actually reach it. <laughs> I do the Valley Girl voice her. No way, you little moron. Whatever. <laughs> Jeez. That's probably why they let us try. They want us to try the underground passage, so we'd learn that escape is impossible. You got me. Instead of blocking off every exit completely, they leave that little bit of hope. Honestly, the Valley Girl voice fits her. She can have it, yeah. I gotta practice the Valley Girl thing again. <laughs> In my head, it doesn't fit her for some reason. But I wanna put it... I wanna attach it to her. <laughs> they want us to be desperate enough to go home. Corner us mentally. Actually, that's just rotten. You might be right, but... Yeah, but we can't just give up. Yeah. Right, you guys? I mean, we've only failed once, you know? We can't give us this early, right? Okay. But isn't getting out of here impossible? That's not. Whoops. Oh shit! I held the A button. I don't know what. It... Is there a log for this? Okay. No, it's not. It may take one more try or a lot more tries, but it's not impossible. Forget about Monokuma. It doesn't matter what he says to us. I don't want to lose to him, and I don't want any of you to lose either. I refuse to lose to someone who would do these terrible things to us. You're right. Kaede. Mm -hmm. So let's all work hard to escape this place together. And once we get out of here and make it to the outside world, right? why don't we all stay friends? Um. Except for Mew. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> and maybe Tanko too. <laughs> I could think of a few people else to... Eliminate off the list. <laughs> For friends? Yeah. After going through an experience like this, I think we'd all be the best of friends. Right? I mean, it's not every day you get to meet other ultimates. So, what do you say? Hmm. That might not be bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great idea. Then, then we've all the more reason to escape this place, no matter what. My body is ready. You can tell how out of control my pits. Okay. Okay, Tenko. I'm glad. Uh, everyone. But... Gotta make friends with the fascists or else you might be on the wrong side of history. Oh, shit. <laughs> Reggie reference. Oh, my God. Isn't it premature to say that what we'll do after we escape? Assumptions are all but useless. Jeez, you're clueless. Why am I not surprised that a robot can't read the air? Robots can read the air! Thanks to innovations in pollutant detecting technology, I... Let's go. Anyway, 
It doesn't matter if Monokuma says it's impossible. We'll show him what we can do. That's right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It seems like a pain, but I guess I'll try. Yeah. Yeah, let's work together. <laughs> we messed up last time, but I'm sure it'll go well this time. It'll be okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. A divine wind will blow through and lift us to victory. Uh, oh my god. Ah, uh, humanity is truly wonderful. The way you all confront adversity is beautiful. With our bond stronger than ever, we stepped into the tunnel once more. Alright. <coughs> Let's try again. Is it going to be different this time? Were these traps before? There was a bomb on the ground somewhere, right? We gotta go fast, right? I'll wait till everyone catches up. I guess we'll just start here. Okay, they don't actually follow me until I move. So we'll just oh Leave fuck oh. Okay, you gotta bait it first. Well, I'm just oh, losing no, everyone. <laughs> I'm just fucking losing everyone. Okay, you gotta bait the fire. Okay, you can't go backwards. So those coins are bombs. Okay, we're down to two already. Well, you can't change direction in the air. I see, okay. Oh, that's a bomb too. <coughs> Once you jump, you can't change direction. When I finally woke up, searing pain coursed throughout my entire body. Third time to try, right? Charm, right? I see. I lost consciousness again. Why? Okay. <laughs> Valley girl voice. <laughs> I've lost my valley girl ability. Okay. Oh my god. Like, holy shit. What the fuck? What the? And I was looking forward to a happy ending. Don't worry. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. We're just getting started. Mm -hmm. Practicing. <laughs> Uh, of course, this will be a piece of cake. Gonta gonna escape. Become friends of everyone. Gentlemen, never give up. This time, this time I'll reach the exit. This time. Those words carried me as I stepped into the tunnel once again. This is the rest of the game. We have to beat this before we can continue. But... It was no good. Even so, we refused to surrender. We kept telling ourselves that this time we'll escape. But we failed each time. With every attempt, we repeated the word this time over and over again. But in the end, we couldn't do it. I thought you'd be able to escape as long as we never gave up. But it made no difference in the end. Failed again. Damn. Damn it. Seems like I can't go on. That's wrong. Wait, we can't give up. This time we'll knock it off already. Huh? I don't like that. You're free to keep trying on your own, but forcing us to join you is basically torture. Uh, to torture? You know what really hurts? Being denied the right to give up in an impossible situation. You won't let us give up, no matter what we say. You have the moral high ground. That doesn't sound like torture to you? When you say we can't give up, you're not inspiring us. You're strong-arming us. That's wrong. I didn't mean it like that. Hey, degenerate male! Hey, degenerate! Quit being so selfish! I'm not being selfish. The others feel the same way too. Huh? 
What? Everyone? My spirit <laughs> is nearly broken. <laughs> what about Angie? And <laughs> she's pretty chill. Given the circumstance, the most logical course of action would be to give up. Despair sells me thing over her. Oh, cat. Yeah, I feel like Hisashi Mitsui in the second half of a basketball game. I knew this wasn't possible from the start. This bullshit is a waste of my precious time and energy. I can't let you all rely on my magic. I'm just relieved that no one was seriously injured. Praise be to Atua. Wait! B please, wait! We. No can give up! Hey guys. You guys, are you really okay with not getting out of this place? We shouldn't have to push ourselves. Let's just find another way out, okay? Huh? What? No way. You're talking about the killing game, aren't you? Yeah, so you're gonna interpret it like that, huh? You gotta be kidding me! What are you saying? There's no way we can do the killing game. <laughs> Calm down. Want some bubble gum? You can blow pretty big bubbles with it. Uh -huh. Looks like this little degenerate wants his head smashed into the ground. Wait! This is stop, guys. We should be fighting. Jeez. We fell apart pretty quick for a group that decided to be friends and work together. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. This is my fault. I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, no, Kaede. Idiot! What are you apologizing for? It's not your fault at all! Hmm. Really? I think it is Kaede's fault. What? Uh huh. Why? <laughs> She's just fucking meditating. <laughs> this is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy for Give the Juveniles. It is now nighttime. It is now 10 p.m. Nighttime officially starts now. It's Betty Bad Time! Whether you've been good or naughty, it's time to go tinkle and go Betty Bye. Be careful. The dining hall and gym are locked for nighttime, so be careful. You're on the of your face. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Nighttime, huh? Well, no sense pushing our luck. We should probably just get a fresh start tomorrow. Huh? Fresh start? What do you think? We've been assigned a room in the dormitory. Oh, we've each been assigned a room in the dormitory. Perhaps we should rest there. <laughs> he? We're gonna rest? <laughs> oh, God. What the fuck? We're gonna rest there? What's wrong? The rooms aren't that bad. Much better than my prison cell, that's for sure. But, but it makes me nervous to think we'll be staying the night in this creepy school. Okay. Well, nothing we can do but suck it up. So, what's our plan for tomorrow? Since the dining hall opens at 8 a.m., how about we meet there at that time? That's right. Sure, I think that'll work. I'm okay with that. It's decided. Can we go to our rooms already? Yes, we should get as much rest as we can and regain our strength. Mm, I don't know if I can go pee by myself in the middle of the night. What? How old are you? I'll come with you, if you don't mind, that is. Just let me know. Why are you drooling? <laughs> Starting a silent little guy mentions he went to prison counter. <laughs> hey guys, just so you know. I killed someone before, and I went to prison for it. Oh. Hey guys, just as a warning, we shouldn't let our guards down. They'll be easy targets at night. Because of killing game, you mean? Please wait. I see no worry. I see no need to worry about something as illogical as murder taking place here. I know, I know. Just a warning. Uh... 
<laughs> she needs to pee and Tenko is thirsty. <laughs> no. Oh my god. I mean... Hey, what did you apologize before? You didn't do anything wrong, you know. Um, well, when we tried to escape, I felt like we were united behind a common goal. But after I put everyone's lives at risk, that unity is gone now. Seriously? Shut up! That's just a stupid end result. It's not like you wanted it to go that way. Listen up. Don't apologize for something that's not your fault. It'll just make you feel bad. You know... Everyone just decided to blame you and give up. I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind later. Ugh. Well, anyway. Let's just go to sleep for now. See you tomorrow. <laughs> What's that all referring to? Thank you, Kaido. Um, Kaede? I don't think you need to worry about what Kokichi said. You weren't pressuring us. At least, I don't think so. Yeah, thanks, Shuichi. But I'm exhausted. Let's just go back to our rooms and rest. You're right. Right. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I read well, wheel instead of well. Fuck. Can we just go by ourselves? No. <laughs> Everyone left, so I should head back to my room too. I guess we'll have fewer and fewer lives to go through that thing. <laughs> that game's hard to control. Maybe we'll get upgrades to control it. I mean, it's probably not the way you're meant to beat the game anyways. There's another door here. Oh. We can go the other way. Ooh, spooky. I see. Okay, there's two ways to this. Oh. We need to get to the talk to Ganta. Whoops, whatever. I thought this was like a back room or something. Uh, poor Ganta. There's people out here we can talk to too. What's this thing? What a weird monument. Monument. Why is this here? Oh, this is like uh, where you learn a song in Ocarina of Time or something? Oh, plants. Wow. I wonder where that door leads to. I don't think it's an exit, but it bothers me. You gotta play the song with an ocarina to get those plants out of the way. Is there a plant-related song in any of the games? I don't think so, right? What's this? It looks like a castle gate. What's past here? Hexagonal protrusion. I mean, what a forest? Yeah, true. It's the closest thing, I guess. I feel like this protrusion is related to the big door, since it's right next to it. But I don't know how they're related. A what the fuck? A A I U U A E T X V I R A L L. Hmm. I mean, it's a hexagonal thing. We don't have a key for it anyways. Uh, check it out later. What's this boy doing? How do I interact with it? There we go. Can we go this way? No. Okay. If you really can't fall asleep, I'll put you to sleep with a magic hammer. 
<laughs> okay. That would be an eternal sleep. Thank you for the offer, here we go. Ah, <sighs> seeing it like this, the school really is eerie. <laughs> sleep is sleep. <laughs> the first one to go. <laughs> Don't complain, Shiro got it, true. It's an interesting place in a day, but having to stay the night is too much. Is something the matter? Please rest and try to regain as much strength as you can. Escaping this place will prove to be quite difficult. Best not to fret over it. Are the other paths open now as well? Oh, I guess we can't go there, so we can't go there. Yeah, okay. Um, I guess we can't go back inside either, okay. Uh, where's my room? Where's my room? Is it this one? Can we look up the other rooms? God, controlling this game is so wacky. This is Mew's room. I don't have any business of her right now. Right stick. Can just check out any of these rooms? This is Kipo's room. I don't have any business of that. Okay. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's see what's in here. <clears throat> That's not bad. Look at that. So, this is my room. Well, it's not too shabby. Huh? Except, what the fuck is this thing? <laughs> okay. A key. Is it a key to this room? You got it right. Nice work. That is, in fact, the key to this room. You probably don't have anything worth of stealing in here. But you should still lock your door when you leave. Hell yeah! yeah, all right. Now it's time for me to give you a special hint. If you steal someone else's key, you can sneak into the room and kill him easily. Shut up. I don't want to hear that. Ugh, I just got chewed out. Jeez, this place is the worst. I just want to go home. Closet? Do we have to hide in here at some point? Huh? Is this a closet? I guess I'll take a look inside, just to be safe. Huh? Huh? What's- what is this? Just an AR. It's like a M16 assault rifle in here. Oh, okay. Inside, there were a lot. There were uniforms that matched the one I was wearing. Lots of uniforms. I guess we can change our clothes in this in this one game. The other game, I guess we don't change our clothes and we're just sweating and dirty all, all fucking week long. Did they prepare all these? In the middle of an emotional breakdown. Damn. Hope you're doing okay. They prepared everything just to keep us trapped here. But why? Can we blow up the TV? This time you're a woman, so of course you have extra clothes. Oh no! My furniture! You know what? We don't need this stuff. Get this out of here. Minimalistic room. Is this a bathroom? I guess we don't hide in the bathroom in this game. I assume the closet has something of significance later on. I should sleep to prepare for tomorrow. Okay. It's okay, I'm just not strong enough to flame on a kid and I know who you are. 
Ah, <laughs> <sighs> I'm tired. As soon as my body hit the bed, my body immediately froze. After everything that had happened, I forgot just how physically and mentally exhausted I was. I thought we would achieve our goal as long as we didn't give up. That had always been my mentality whenever I practiced the piano. But maybe playing piano is easier. Because I'm blessed with that talent. Yeah, where's the ultimate escape artist? Or the ultimate jailbreaker? <clears throat> With Chopin's prelude playing in my head, I fell into a deep sleep. Do they have no copyrighted music in this game? <laughs> it's not copyrighted, right? It's like... It's old enough that it should be uh, uh, in like public domain. They tried. He got away from the kidnappers. <laughs> New students of the Ultimate Academy. Congratulations. The weeds here have grown thick with joy, as if celebrating your entrance into the school. Seeing your anxious eyes shine with murderous intent makes me oh so happy! If you ever feel lost, don't be shy! Talk to your friends or a teacher! Let's all get along! And let's do lots of killing too! I pray for the physical and mental well-being of this new killing school semester! Yeah, I mean... I pray for the well-being of you students. Yes, that'll do. Hey, they replaced my chair. That's nice of them. This is an announcement. <laughs> How do you say this onomatopoeia? Nyum nyum. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. Damn bitches, time to wake up and face the blood-drenched day. So... I wonder who's dead this morning. Stop it! Stop! If I suddenly see a dead body, I'll puke again. Have fun! Enjoy your killing school semester. <laughs> Come on, kid. <again. sighs> it was all some terrible dream. Huh. Wouldn't that be nice? Wait, I don't have time to joke around. I said I'd meet the others at the dining hall. Everyone must be waiting. I need to get to the dining hall ASAP. What's in that room? Well, no time to waste. Is there anyone here? Nope. Wait, so there's a door here, and there's a... No, there's no door on this side, okay. Yo, what's up, Celestial Ludenberg? My favorite character is Kokichi. He's pretty chill, yeah. Welcome, welcome. I don't know which one that is, because I haven't read any of their names in <laughs> Kokichi is the ultimate... Um... He's evil... What is it called? It's the ultimate supreme... Is this supreme leader? No. It... Is it supreme leader? A oh, least favorite. Oh my gosh. I can't read. <laughs> supreme leader? Was it supreme leader? Or was it like evil organization leader? I don't remember exactly. What's your favorite character then? <laughs> yeah, it's a checker guy. Maki? Maki's cute. <clears throat> she's been kind of blunt recently. I guess she's a very blunt character. She doesn't talk enough for me to make an opinion of her yet. It was Supreme Leader and then elaborate on why I see. Morning, Sumigi. Um, good morning, Kaede. What's the matter? Not feeling well? 
I woke up a bunch of times last night, and each time, I realized this all wasn't a dream. But even so, I still woke up this morning, hoping it was a dream. And in the end, it still wasn't. Yeah, yeah same here. But we gotta face this reality. Aww. You're right. We need to fight against this reality and... Sorry. <laughs> the girls I don't like in Mew. <laughs> yeah. I think Mew is definitely the lowest on my list. <laughs> oh, sorry for the weird conversation so early in the morning. I bet everyone's waiting. <laughs> I think Mew is the least tact out of everyone. <laughs> like... The least uh, pleasant to communicate with. It looks like I could enter the school building from here, but it's blocked off. Oh, this door is still locked, I guess. I guess that's a plot point, too. We'll see, I guess. Shuichi. Morning, Shuichi. Okay. Good morning. Huh? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at the dining hall? I'm. I was just on my way there. Um. Hey. Kaede. What's the matter? Yeah. No. Ah, uh, it's nothing. The others are probably waiting for us. We should go. Mysterious thoughts. I wonder what's up with Shuichi. He seems preoccupied with something. Well, I can ask him later. I need to go. Typical game logic. Kaede is my third favorite protagonist behind Kamaru and Hajime. So then that's your, she's your least favorite? I think she's the most active, I think. Although, oh, behind Komari and Hajime. So what, what, what is the first guy's name? Like, in the first game. Komari is the sister of the first protag, right? Oh, Makoto. <laughs> Makoto's fourth, yeah, okay. Does that have got athletes with Kalachi Oh my god. This is how we're gonna remember the names, huh? He's got athlete's foot. Uh. Makoto's pretty bland. Oh, everyone's here already. So then. Now, all of us have arrived. I'm glad. It looks as though there were no victims. Of course. But of course. By the way. By the way. Aren't you okay, Kaede? Huh? Huh? What do you mean? See? Well, you look pretty bummed out after everyone started blaming you yesterday. Wait. Uh, hey, what are you doing, Olive? That's so mean. Seriously, you guys are so mean. Poor girl. Best boy is Ryoma. Interesting. Ryoma's the little short guy, right? With the tennis, the ultimate tennis player? She's trying her best to encourage everyone, and you sore losers have gone mad at her anyway. <laughs> so that's all everyone blaming Kaidis as well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess he is uh, evil, so. Most likely to kill someone, oh, Lord Holder sure does talk a lot. <laughs> Average cookie chi line, yep. That's enough. What's the point of bringing that up again? Hey, degenerate male. Actually, didn't you blame Kaede first? Eh? Now it's my fault? Why are you guys getting up on me? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem like a supreme leader to me. <laughs> His last name is literally Cancer. <laughs> True. Oh, you, you guys are terrible. So horrible. So mean. Hmm, you're too noisy. Cut it out. Jeez. But it's true. Everyone blamed Kaede without taking any responsibility themselves. Oh, no. Hey, come on now. Everyone's probably just tired. 
Shut it! That's no excuse! That's wrong. No, it's okay. It doesn't bother me. I... It's just... I should have been more considerate of everyone's feelings. Sorry. I was too focused on the tunnel, so... I'm sorry. I see. Alright, well, if you're okay with it, then so am I. <laughs> okay, Kaido. It's obviously fake crying, yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. Ew. Cool means. Now everything's settled. Hey. But you did blame her first, didn't you? It's a lie. Well, that was a lie. You know, one of those lies to make us more united or whatever. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and you know half my lies are actually told of good intentions? What are you saying? No. That sounds like a lie. Um, let's just forget about it and discuss something else. Right? Okay. Let's all think about ways to get out of here. It's too soon for there to be victims. Kyo, we haven't had a motive yet. Exactly. Exactly. Now to fix that problem. Burrito Supreme over there is the only motive I need. <laughs> Before you do that, I have an announcement. Hey, don't just suddenly show up. It's too much stress for my heart. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to not surprise you. I knew it. So you didn't mean to surprise us. What's wrong? Well, your announcement. It's not terribly important, but it's easier to stay alive by being in a an obvious goody two shoes, right? Being thrust into a killing game doesn't mean you'll be able to kill someone so easily. So I figured I'd ease you guys into the killing game by giving you a motivation to kill. Motivation to kill? In short, a motive. That ought to add some mystery to the proceedings. Even if a killer is exposed, they could whip a sob story to deceive everyone. What are you saying? Your logic is impossible to understand. I will now announce the first motive. Make sure you record this moment for posterity. Interesting. People who people who better not be victims. Kibomaki Kaido gonna just name a few. There's some nice people in this, yeah. I mean the other games is also nice people, but Wow! For the first murder that occurs, no class trial will be held. Can you believe it? You might have made little sense that stupid arcade came from the R2. That one Did they explain that more in the anime? They might. Yeah, that one had like a really long exposition backstory to it that we didn't really get to experience a lot of. It did feel like it was just kind of thrown in there. Oh, okay. So we won't even have a class trial for the first killing? I made me a bit mad about the fun thing. Yeah, that one's kind of bullshit too. <clears throat> but it was an interesting puzzle to figure out. Um, <laughs> yeah, an octagon is a shape of eight sides, right? <laughs> it was like, what's a shape with eight sides? And then there's like three options you have to pick from. Plus, in the game, the incident was hidden behind a menu cheat. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The menu cheat thing, yeah. No class trial be held? Let me explain. I'm sorry that I made the class trial seem more important than it really is. So for the first murder, I've decided not to hold the class trial at all. Please, just relax, calm down, and kill! After all, the first one's free! Really? <laughs> I can't <laughs> their voice. How do I do their voice? 
<laughs> the person not disease was stupid too, yeah, true. <laughs> that one was dumb too, yeah. Huh? That's all? We just gotta kill someone to get out of here? That's all? What's that supposed to mean? Please, just calm down. First blood perk? Don't make it sound like some kind of game show bonus. <laughs> you say that, but I bet you're really happy, huh? huh. There's no way I'm happy. Stop, it. Stop messing around. Do you think this is fun for us? Huh? No, that's wrong. Do you really think I'd kill someone just to get out? Keep an eye on me because of what she said. I think I'm gonna have to keep an eye on you no matter what. <laughs> In your dreams. We're not gonna lose to you. We promised each other we'd escape from this place. <laughs> Spare me your false bravado. You should be focusing on how to plan to survive. You just gotta kill someone, right? Why, you bastard! How I, this? I see. The prisoner's dilemma. How very clever of you, Monokuma. Huh? What's that? It's true. We all know it's better to cooperate rather than betray each other, right? But if you don't cooperate, you receive some benefit that no one else gets. So unsure. It's an incentive to betray the group, to give yourself an advantage. With that in the back of all our minds, we're less likely to cooperate. That's Monokuma's plan. To make a non-cooperative game that tanks Katie's plan to get us to cooperate. What? Uh, um... And if a murder were to occur, it'd be even more unlikely that we'd cooperate. It's likely he created this perk for that sole purpose. To tell you the truth. Right? I bet you can't stand all this tension in the air, right? So it's better to just kill! Uh... What? You... Wait. It seems you're quite serious about forcing us to participate in this killing game. What exactly is your objective? His objective doesn't matter. I'm through letting him have his way. I've had enough! Kaido lunged toward Monokuma to grab him, but... Well... <laughs> is he gonna die right here, right now? <laughs> I actually did like the idea that the nurse girls were murdered because she remembered who they were before anyone else. But that was the only thing that made sense. Yeah. That the concept is executed in the worst way possible. <laughs> <laughs> Celeste already explained what the prisoner's dilemma is in the first game, but they need to hear it again. Yeah, I don't know if they're like trying to ease in, like, do they expect players to play this game as their first game? I guess they have to keep that in mind though, right? Do you have to have the highest amount of tough characters in the series? Your name is Missy <laughs> Damn it at the end. <laughs> Flame his ass, kill him, yeah! Hell yeah! Looks like we got ourselves a volunteer! Finally, it's time for the exercise! We won't let you lay a hand on daddy. We want daddy to smile every day. And that's that. You bastards better pay attention. This is what happens when you mess with us. What? What, what are you guys planning to do? Please stop! Kaito. Run, Kaido! At that moment, we heard a menacing mechanical noises. The exocells charged. Well, okay, bye. <laughs> Nakomaru, Peko, and Akane. Yeah, Nakomaru, Peko, and Akane are pretty tough. The sound of crushing metal echoed throughout the dining hall. And then, a final gasp. Holy shit! Huh? Daddy got turned into a pile of scrap metal! It's Monodon's fault! This is Monodon's fault somehow! What is this? What's going on? I'm not sure what's going on, but Monokuma's in pieces. Serves him right! He got just what he deserved. I do, not agree. do not celebrate just yet. I'm certain he has a spare that will appear momentarily. 
there is no spare. Don't trivialize life like that. Huh? What? When father was still alive, he used to tell us ghosts that we must cherish life because we're like snowflakes. Unique in every way. Well, if only one existed, then does this mean Monokuma's dead? Poor daddy! Let's at least bury him with full honors. Yeah, we'll cook him low and slow to lock in the flavor. <laughs> well, we're at it. We should toss him some carrots and potatoes, too. Oh, maybe add some leftover curry, too? You know, the sweet kind. My favorite. You'll want an extra large size of rice tooth, right? That's right? Now that we're the headmasters, we gotta eat more so we can get stronger. Kind of the same mistake we did in the first game, yeah. <laughs> Tara, you idiot. Spares have never played a Danganronpa game, true. I mean, they haven't been in a Danganronpa game, I guess, so... In order to end the killing game, you tell to find kill the mastermind. Hmm. Um... What's going on? Anyway. Hmm. Everything's a complete mess now. But if there's no final boss... <laughs> then that means this killing game is cancelled! Huh? huh? Cancelled? I don't think so. Monokuma's just a robot. There has to be someone controlling him. Don't worry. <laughs> don't be such a worry wart. Everything's definitely over now. With the mastermind gone, continuing this game is pretty much impossible. So that means... Which means we win! <laughs> Yay, we did it! <laughs> well... So, we're not in danger anymore? Uh -huh. Oh. So do we just wait here for the shuttle bus to pick us up, or...? That's wrong! Wait a minute, we don't know that yet. <sighs> Kaide, quit being such a buzzkill. Everyone's still annoyed about what you did yesterday. Huh? But I didn't mean it like that. Well... Or is there still something you would have us do, Kaide? Trashy skank! Tell me what you... <laughs> don't tell me you want to take on that underground passage again. Quiet. We know it's impossible. Sorry. Okay. One evs. Looks like we're done here. Phew. What a relief. Sussin Kokichi for being the mastermind because of his shady personality. I mean, he's the supreme leader and the leader of an evil organization, so... How would public transportation get to you? <laughs> You're stuck in a cage. True. Is it like a ghost bus? I don't know. After Kokichi finished talking, we all went our separate ways. I think the ultimate mastermind will be the detective. Oh, Shuichi. I decided to return my room. Return to my room. You know, this room's kind of boring, actually. I don't know why, but once I went inside my room, I just started crying uncontrollably. Uh-huh. Why? At that moment, the intercom in my room rang. <laughs> Hajime is actually the mastermind. He was kind of the mastermind. I guess he was, in a way. Intercom. What was in Is this his intercom? Or should we just go to the door? The intercom. Is someone at the door? It could be Jackie. It could still be Jackie. I quickly wiped my tears and opened the door. Are you okay? Uh, Kaide. Are you alright? Yeah. Oh, Chuichi. Um, what do you mean? I'm not sad if that's what you're wondering. I'm... Kaide, it's not your fault. Huh? I knew it. The underground passage was a trap. It was a trap to get us to think we could work together, then crush our hopes. You might be right, but... I... 
know that, but I just wanted to escape with everyone. Hmm. You know? But it's all right now. Everything is over, right? Um. Kaede, I know how you feel. I believe in you. Huh? What? You believe in me? Is that all right? There's something I have to tell you. Will you come to the library with me? The library? What's gone to Shuichi all of a sudden? It's time to read some motherfucking books. Um, hey, what do you want to talk about? That's. I'd like to talk to you in the library. <laughs> Will you come with me, please? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Zuby? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. I thought it was Chiaki, but I guess Hajime inserted Junko into the, uh... I think they all... I don't remember exactly what the plot was, but they had a backup of Junko's, like, personality or something? Like, a program that was like Junko, and then they plugged it into the machine. <laughs> Yeah, some something like that. You front-facing hat-wearing mastermind! <laughs> Are we gonna die right here, right now in the library? Is there a monitor in the library? I think there is, right? Is there a room that doesn't have a monitor? I should have been paying more attention. Oh well. Whoa, there's lots of people around. Let's see what they got to say. Hmm. What's the matter? What's the matter, Gonta? Searching for something? Bugs are. There are no bugs here after all. I see. Oh yeah, you did mention that before. Gonta. Gonta trying to understand why. You're right. Ah, uh, that's right. Of course, the ultimate entomologist would notice that. But. Gonta have no idea, but. It's okay. Gonta not give up. Gentlemen not give up that easy. Allow Gonta. So Gonta go search even more. See ya. There was that one scene where Kaede had like a machine attached to her head. So this might be like a DR2 situation as well. That's my explanation for no bugs. UDG explains how Junko's AI was created. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hajime does it right well it kind of explains it it's not that would bond with gundam because they're animal lovers true true yeah <laughs> hey look at you two out for a walk together huh why don't you pick up some rubbers over at the warehouse better safe than sorry huh? what we don't need those <laughs> huh what you must be a real fucking skank to let dudes unload inside ya. By day you're fingering the piano keys, but at night the dudes are fingering you, eh? Uh, Shut the hell up! What kind of girl do you think I am? Eh, <laughs> it was a joke. I was just trying to lighten the mood a little. Uh, um... Let's ignore her, Kaede. We have to focus. Right, we need to head to the library. Hey, see you later, Mew. Uh, does she, like, talk normally at all, ever? Oh? Who would have expected her foe to die in such a way? What a disappointing ending. In any event, it means the situation is over. I can go home and spend time with sister. I see. Oh, you have a sister, Kyo? I bet she's worried about you. But that's probably true of everyone's family, including mine. Sister. Sister is terribly lonely. I need to get back to her as soon as possible. I need to get back to my parents and friends too. Poor sister. <laughs> Do you want me to answer that? I mean, we'll find out I guess. Didn't these literally crush the heads of the T-Bears to make the Junko AI? Well, it doesn't explain that in the game. It just shows them crushing the heads. It doesn't actually explain what happens. It explains, it explains well how 
Junko, Junko got in the assimilation, so I don't know how to feel about it. Yeah. It looks like he angrily crushed the Junko chips. He did. They they were failures, right? So. Yo, what's up, Banana? Welcome, welcome. It's where he pulled the chips out and crunched them in his hands. He did. Well, there was a crunching noise, but like, how do you really crunch like a copper board? I guess you could if you're not strength. I guess there were failures that just implied there were more. Yeah. Doesn't really explain how it happens in the game. Maybe the anime has more on it. Welcome, Banana. Finally caught a stream. Uh, Kaito. Got it. See? Just like I said. Um, uh huh? Well, it's just like you said. Keep your chin up. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. Yeah. Uh, what are you talking about? Huh? What do you mean? It said to me we defeated Monokuma, right? I still don't know how to get out of here, but the number one threat is gone now. Uh, um. uh Kaido, to be honest, what you did was really dangerous. Okay. Well, I was a little nervous, just a little. <laughs> but now we know the universe is watching. That bear got the cosmic justice he deserved. The universe is always on the side of those who push the limits and never give up. I see. Um, I guess? Leave it to me. Anyway, Monokuma's gone now thanks to me. All we gotta do is escape. <laughs> there are still the five exosols, yeah. Exactly. I can't remember how Sayaka's band had black hair member and blonde member. The black hair one's Ibuki and the blonde one's Kaede. Maybe. That'd be fun. I don't remember exactly what the band members looked like. But I could kind of see that. They are all musicians after all. Gotta blow my nose one sec. I gotta go to the little toilet as well. Maybe I'll just do that now. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying the emotes, Cliff. Can I call you Celeste, or do you prefer Ludenberg, or what should I refer to you by? Okay, Maki. Are we going back to that underground passageway? Do they all have little flowers somewhere on there? Or is this flower unique to her? Because I know the friendship thing is flowers in this game. I guess I gotta keep an eye out for that. Huh? Why are you asking me that all of a sudden? You don't know? You don't think this is over, do you? Your attitude earlier gave it away. Uh... Because... And I figured you'd take on that passageway with her. Since you two seem so chummy. That's... Uh... I'm not trying to take anyone's side. Sure, whatever. You guys are free to do whatever you want. Just leave the rest of... Just leave the rest of us out of it. I knew it. Is that Wheatley from Portal? Yeah, man, pan one Wheatley, the uh, portal streamer. She's kind of 
unpleasant, didn't she? Whoa, my water bottle. Uh, no one understands Mackie. Oh, you're still here. Hey, hey is the shuttle bus coming or not? I've been waiting for a while now. Um, I don't think a bus is gonna come. This whole place is surrounded by the cage wall. I see. Oh yeah. Actually, you go yeah. Yoko's probably my least favorite DR2 character. <laughs> Holy shit, a run button? Yeah, I know, right? Um, it's just that it's customary to come back from a con by bus. But... I travel by bus even in summer and winter. The bus drivers can see shanties for me. In the past, I was saddled with debt, but now I'm the proud owner of my very own home. Congratulations, Shimigi. What is she talking about? Actually, Never mind. It's just plain unimportant. Well, anyway, since this wall's so big, I wonder how the bus would even get in here. Would a bus really be able to get in here? Boom, boom, boom. We go really fast. Oh. Is that I? Oh, that's Gonta. I thought that was a county for a sec. My eyes are terrible. Before I had debt, now I have a home, so I have more debt. <laughs> school loans. And then, well, she's a high school student still. She has a home as a high school student. She's a homeowner. I guess her uh, cosplaying abilities and selling them paid off for her. But yup, the endless cycle of debt. <laughs> ben! Mm, hey you guys, save me from this conversation. What's, wrong? What's the matter, Himiko? We're not done talking yet, are we? <laughs> Is Tenko harassing her? Don't you- can't you use your magic to get rid of Tenko for us? Um, Tenko, what are you doing? I was hoping I could learn more about magic from Himiko! I definitely want to incorporate magic into Neo Aikido! Please tell me, Himiko, what sort of training do you usually do? What a pain. I ain't telling you, I get tired talking about it. I'll protect you. Then I'll massage your back so you won't get tired! Oh, yeah. I wouldn't mind if you rested your head on my lap either. Stop it. That's weird. <laughs> Just because you're a girl doesn't mean you can sexually harass people. Um. Oh, hello, Rentaro. What's wrong? You think Celeste would be a homeowner giving her gambling skill? I think she was saving up for like a castle or something, right? <laughs> Meet the groomer. Oh my gosh. Forgot what these games were like? Yes, welcome back to the Japanese visual novel genre. Hey there, you two. Something wrong? Um, no, nothing's wrong. Hey. hey, Rintaro. You said there's something behind all this, right? That Marukuma is just a puppet? It's true. I did say that. But you know what? It's just a hunch. How should I, put this? I sure wouldn't complain if that's how it all turned out, though. Happy you missed Ultra Despair Girls. And the way he goes. Hmm. Should Kaede be more sing songy? Should I make her say her lines like she's singing songs all the time? Or would that be extremely annoying? <laughs> cross some lines. It really did cross lines. It was probably the most line crossing of any game so far. Mikan should have been a doctor given her level of medical knowledge instead of just a nurse. Yeah, maybe it's a translation thing? I don't know what she is in Japanese. I saw the first session and that was all I needed to know. <laughs> Fair enough. Like before, the empty library is filled with a scent of old musty books. 
Okay, before I say anything else, I want you to promise that you'll keep this a secret. Yeah. Okay, got it. Shiichi looked relieved and smiled. Like a great detective, he began to explain an exciting detail. Remember. This library has books scattered everywhere. Even books lying on top of the bookcases. But take a look at this bookcase. It's the only one in the library with no books on top. Ooh, a secret passageway. Oh, that one? Huh, you're right. Also, you can see that the floor in front of the bookcase has noticeable markings. Mm -hmm. You're right. What is this? I'm... I noticed the markings the first time I came here with you. This morning, I came back to investigate. That's when I found this. He then walked over to the bookcase, placed his hands between the gap. And moved the bookcase. Whoa, it moved? It swings open. Look, there's a door behind it. Uh, I did not watch because of that. Uh, I didn't not watch it because of that. Work schedule makes it hard for me to catch streams, I see, I see. I mean, you had a pink haired girl whose mother let her be sexually molested, yeah. <laughs> yep, that was her backstory and her entire character. And uh, she proceeded to, uh, you know, pass that on to future victims. A door? Is there a monitor in this room? I want to be careful about that. Oh, I guess we can't look around as much. Maybe there is no monitor in this room. Sorry, Shuichi. This is more important right now. This is a different perspective than the one we had before. I guess it kind of is. Oh, I can blow these up too. So, this is what you wanted to show me. Okay. That's why I wanted you to come here with me. There's something unique about this door. Take a closer look. The black and white door. The pattern on the hidden door is black and white. Just like Monokuma. Hey. Hey, do you think this door is connected to Monokuma somehow? That's... I think it might, but I don't know anything for sure. This door is a card reader lock, so I can't open it. Huh? You can't? Is that all right? But the very fact this door is here makes me consider a certain possibility. Why is she confused that he can't open the door? There is a chance that one of us here is cooperating with Monokuma. Huh? Huh? Cooperating with Monokuma? The protagonist question lines. Uh, Wait a minute! What do you mean by that? It's only a hypothesis right now, but consider this. Why would there be a hidden door here? If it were solely for Monokuma's use, he wouldn't need to hide it. He could just have the Monokubs or the Ixacells protect it and keep it in plain sight. Hmm. However, I can think of one reason that the door would be hidden. For one of us to sneak in and use it, without anyone else noticing. Um, maybe, but I can't believe someone in our group could be working with Monokuma. I can't believe it either. That's why, to confirm my suspicions, I decided to set a little trap on this card reader. I sprinkled some dust inside the card reader so that I could tell if it was used. Of course, I was careful to make sure the dust wouldn't come loose accidentally. And I don't think the person swiping their card would notice or care about a little dust. Um. So if we see dust on the floor, that means one of us used this door, right? That doesn't mean anything. It could be someone else, right? It just means the door was used. Doesn't really confirm the identity of who did it. Uh, then you had Master who was physically abused and Chitaru, whose mother told him died in space out of jealousy. Yup. And finally in Nagasa, his friends injected him. Yeah, all, all the kids, like, backstories are super fucked up. Of course, been study all day and night, yup. Why can't you open the door, Shuichi? Is it because you're stupid? <laughs> 
Worst part is Monica took advantage of them pretty much the entire city for Fenty to be handicapped. Yeah, that was it. I don't even understand why that was necessary. I guess that was just part of her character, but like it didn't need to be like that at all. Sex one's messaging me. I do have dinner plans tonight, so I might have to go. <clears throat> They're just asking what time. Yeah, I don't know how this dust thing's gonna help us in what work, like... Doesn't seem like it's going to do much, like, couldn't someone be hiding in the school and just use the card reader? Well, as I mentioned before, this is just a hypothesis. Uh, I have no evidence yet. But... but if it is true, then even if Monokuma is gone, this isn't going to end, Kaede. Hmm. Uh, um... Anyway, that's what I had to tell you. Of course, I don't expect you to believe me. I'm... I just wanted to tell you, no matter what. Yeah. yeah. Then... Well, let's head back. We shouldn't stay here too long. Why does Shuichi trust us, or trust Kaede only? What if he told everyone else, or like specific people, and he asked them to keep it a secret from everyone else? Just fucking with everyone. <clears throat> After putting the moving bookcase back into place, we cautiously left the library. Kaede, please don't tell anyone what I showed you. I don't want to cause a panic. Yeah, yeah I understand. Having made a promise, we return to our own rooms. Shouldn't they just have someone watch the library? Like, just be in there reading books all the time? One? The other Monocubs aren't here to bury Monokuma? Well, anyway, what Shuichi told me earlier is really disturbing. One of us is cooperating with Monokuma? It's just so hard to believe. <laughs> they need the Akia. I guess you'd want two people, right? Because if you only had one person, they'd be the first victim, <laughs> probably. <laughs> but. Shuichi trusts me. That's why he told me, right? Then maybe I should believe it. Wow! We're already out of material! Like closing time at a sushi restaurant! When a series lasts for several seasons, eventually it'll run out of material! My memory has been awful lately! I wonder if it's because of how long the series has been going. Wait, what season are we on again? What material have you shown so far? Jeez, I don't remember. Maybe it's because they released so many at this point. Oh well, anyway, we need new material for the Monokuma Theater. Please send your manuscripts along with a $1,000 application fee. If your entry is selected, you'll receive a $100 gift card. What a generous prize! Don't miss this opportunity! Send your applications today!
<laughs> the Oculus and surely Toko would be creeping somewhere. True. <laughs> Is that the only image Mona come out of himself? <laughs> this is a soul profile picture, yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Well, see ya. It's already morning. I didn't sleep well last night. Yesterday's conversation is still on my mind. I wonder what everyone else is doing. Are they gathered? Are they already gathered at the dining hall? Yeah. I guess I'll go for now. Is the only thing you did like go to the library yesterday? I guess uh, it was retiring. Hello, Ryoma. Hey. Cursor thing's annoying. Morning, Ryoma. Uh, we're way past morning by this point. Huh? Huh? Really? Did the morning announcement just play, though? It's an old story. In prison, mornings were a lot earlier. We started at dawn. Huh? That early? In other words. In a day, we'd do our work and eat, all and eat at the same time. At night, all we could do was sleep. Inside those prison walls, I lived a frighteningly disciplined life. I see. Um, I suppose that sort of life sounds healthy, I guess? Hmm. <laughs> healthy body, healthy mind. Not cool. That's a bitter irony. <laughs> What's one of the prison mention counter? I think it's a little more than plus one. Maybe like plus five or six. That's right. Ryoma was a famous, famous tennis player before he became a prisoner. Did I make him feel bad? <laughs> it's like the ultimate prisoner by this point. I don't think he's talked about tennis at all. He's just talked about being in prison. Hello, Kokichi. <laughs> oh, you're in prison? That sounds healthy. <laughs> Good morning, Kaede. Um, morning? Maybe. Man, I slept great last night. You know, this place is alright when there's nothing to worry about. Oh, so how far have you gone with Shuichi? That's wrong. Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> what were you imagining just now? I just watched you. I just wanted to know how far you've gone exploring this place together. That's all. That's none of your business, Kokichi. Huh? What's with that attitude? You're so mean. I thought you said we were friends, Kaede. <laughs> but you were lying this whole time. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, well, you're lying too. Oh? Wow, Kaede. You know how to stand your ground, don't you? But you're right. I was lying. After all, we're just strangers to one another. That's why I don't really care what you and Shuichi do. Besides, human friends don't share everything with each other. Huh? Yeah, they definitely wouldn't share that. <laughs> I mean, some people might, but that's definitely not normal. Because... I'm more nervous around friends who share too much than strangers, really. Okay. I'm unsure if he went to prison. I hope he talks some more about that, because I wonder if he did go to prison. Hmm. I'm not quite convinced you go to you've been to prison. Oh, hello, sir. I guess they're renovating the windows. They're really hard at work, huh? Um Good morning, Kaide. Uh, morning, Kibo. Everyone appears to have gathered the dining hall again. Yep, looks like it. For now. I'm thinking about heading over there as well, but... Um, but... I... Oh, nothing. I was just wondering, when someone is going to come rescue us? It's been almost a full day since Monokuma was dispatched, but her situation hasn't changed. I'm just speculating, but what if... Only Monokuma knew about this place? What if this location is not on any map? What if no one is coming to rescue us? Don't you have 5G, Kibo? Can't you just, like, 5G us out of here? Huh? Which means... 
maybe we'll just be forgotten. And no one will ever find us again. Jeez. Don't say that. Besides, we should be trying to escape, not waiting for someone to rescue us. That's right. Yes, I apologize. I was overthinking things. As I thought. It would be impossible to discreetly construct a facility such as this in the first place. Plus, if the professor knew I was missing, he would not rest until he found me. With his technology, he would rescue us, no matter where on earth this place is. Yeah. Could the uh, have an Apple Air tag or something on him, maybe? <laughs> Why would he have gone tennis crime? Unlikely, true. I think he killed the mafia or something, right? Yeah Good morning, Kaide. Morning. Hmm, I see, I see. Are you finally ready to make an offering? Uh-huh. Right now? Sorry. Sorry, I still have anemia. Huh? <laughs> she looks so disappointed. That's a bummer. Major bummer. This is a problem, though. I need an offering from someone to thank Atue for smiting Monokuma. Make sure you eat a big breakfast, Kay. Hope your anemia clears up soon. Oh god. Is she serious about offering my blood? Ah, oh, there's a Monokuma Construction Company logo. Is there anyone else? No, just Kibo. Okay. Hello, Tenko. I see that Himiko's not here today. <laughs> Hope your anemic gears up. Support of the queen, yep. Morning, Tenko. I'm <laughs> sorry. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Good morning. Jeez. What was that all about? Well, I haven't done much training since I got here, so I did some light exercise in the gym. But I'm still full of energy, so I'm shouting to burn it off! Uh, I see. By the way. Anyway, exercise makes me hungry, so I'm gonna head to the dining hall. See ya! See ya? Is there anyone this way? Can we go in the classrooms? Nope. We're being railroaded. No one here. When's the stabbing? I'm bored. <laughs> huh? What's wrong? Seems like... Look at this. My nails are all messed up. It probably happened when we came here. And now I can't take good care of them. Um... Your nails? Um... I understand. You surprised my plain old... The plain old me cares about my nails, right? No. Well, not really. But when you say nails, you mean nail art, right? I've never done it before. I see. Oh, I see. Nails would just plain get in the way when playing piano, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I see. As a pianist, you're pretty strict about stuff like this, I guess. Um. You're exaggerating, but yeah. Sometimes I gotta hold back on some stuff. Well, I guess the middle of a killing game isn't the time to worry about, to be worrying about nails. Ah, uh, I want to hurry and go home. To credit of the year two is that it took a while to get the killing, but everyone was so happy that it created suspense for when it did happen. Yeah, that's true. Didn't we lock up Nagato or something? I don't for I forget what exactly happened. We lock him up before or after the murder. That's what we <laughs> Nagito was the one spouting things about killing people all the time. Like, I'll do it if you guys don't want to do it, or I'll help someone do it. Despite all my worrying, everyone in the dining hall was in a good mood. After? Okay. Man, for a moment I had no idea what was going to happen. I'm glad it turned out like this. Yeah, seriously. Mm, I slept well last night. Also, I went to the bathroom and brushed my teeth by myself. 
Good for you, Himiko. That's amazing. You did all that with magic? You're so amazing, Himiko. Thanks, be to Atua. Praise be to Atua. Surely he helped you in his own mysterious, miraculous way. I see. This Atua seems to act in secret a lot. Because Atua is watching over us. Because Atua smells of danger. But when someone coming to get us? 100%. Whoever does, I assume they will come today. There's no need to worry. <sighs> Why the long face? Oh, no. It's nothing. I figure no one would listen to some guy who can't remember his own talent, right? That is... What do you mean? Never mind. Really, it's nothing. This is quite the happy ending. Mm. But is this really how it ends? Without thinking, I blurted that out loud, and now everyone's staring at me. I mean, it just seems too easy. I don't think it'll end like this. Oh. I wonder, do you wish the killing game would have continued? That's not true. No, not at all. Fucking bitch. And don't ruin our happy moment, you fucking skank. <laughs> hey, Kaede. I don't know what you're so worried about. But Monokuma's dead now. There's no way the killing game can continue, you know? And that's my cue to appear! Kuma! Huh? What? <laughs> Monokuma! He's still alive? It's my turn. No, no! Are you guys blind or something, Kuma? I ate Monokuma, Kuma! After dying in a tragic car accident, I've been reborn as Yokai! Call me Jima, Kuma, Kuma! Congrats, you want a fucking medal. <laughs> Poor Himiko. Wasn't Nagito 100% chill until the end of the first trial and became... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a waterbender. Uh, I think those are spirit things. Did he got weird during the trial? Yeah, he did get weird during the trial. Didn't he get weird before the trial too? Maybe... Was it during the trial? No, he was weird before the trial, wasn't he? He was, like, offering to help people. I don't remember. He was just weird. <laughs> Shiba Kuma. From now on, I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, Kuma. You might feel uncomfortable at first, but eventually, you'll get used to it. He snapped in trial one? Okay. I don't remember very clearly, so I'll just go with that. Huh? Did I slip up? On your knees. No, duh. You fucking fraud. Go find another car to run you over. And this time, stay dead. That's terrible. Ah, uh, jeez. It's such a low-level cosplay. I can't bear to look. From an anthropological point of view. I have an important question. Haven't you mistaken ghosts for yokai? Yokai are mythological creatures first created back when humanity lived closely with nature. Back then, they were in the embodiment of unexplainable natural phenomena. Man, you guys are buzzkills! I was all set for an adventure before you started yelling at me! This is why I hate teenagers! I'd have cash for days if I was dealing with the other 10, con ten crowd! They flash back so much in that game, I think some of the flashbacks that show what really happened get mixed in with the part in the game. Yeah, true. Jeez, it's loud in here. What's all the ruckus about? Oh. Wait, what? Our father, who we thought was dead, is actually alive! No way! Papakuma's too hip and modern to resort to the death of the cheap trope. The yokai did it. <laughs> I bet the yokai did it. Yeah. No. That bit's already over! What are you saying? It ain't over yet. I think we're still talking about spooky stuff. You should have told us you were still alive. We've been making stew with your body. Wait, if Papa Kuma's standing here, then whose body's in the stew pot? Whoa, which Papa Kuma's a real one? What are you saying? 
No, they're both real. Huh? But father, you said there's only one of each of us that were unique like snowflakes. Oh, well, yeah, there's only one of each of you guys, but I've got loads of spares. <laughs> oh, why do you get to have spares and we don't? Of course you don't get to have spares. Do you really think anyone in this day and age would tolerate the death of cheap show? Huh? What does that mean? But now we know. The school has a machine somewhere that, that can make a whole lot of pops. Just activate the machine, and you can have as many spare pops as you want. What the fuck? I do I really fucked up this time. He <laughs> long gets his blood treat this week. True. Damn it, Otua. You didn't finish the job. When I see you guys, I just get so excited until I can't take it anymore. You guys are so cute. Gosh, I just want to see what your parents look like. But wait. I'm your parents. I... Sorry, I can't react to this. I'm in too much shock. Does this mean the killing game is gonna continue? C continue? The killing game is gonna continue? What a pain. <laughs> That's not the problem, Ducky Face. What do you mean the killing game is gonna continue? I mean, that sounds a lot less boring, so I guess it's okay. You gotta be me. No, it's definitely not okay. Is that right? So, that's how it's gonna be. And we wanna end this. We have to take down Monokuma and the person behind him. I predicted there would be a spare, but I did not expect it to be built within the academy. I do not Either way, I assumed this would happen. This development was not surprising. Is that so? Then did you also assume this next exciting development? <laughs> Rent. I'm pleased to announce an additional motive. Rentaro's lack of personality is suspicious. Doesn't have a personality. Doesn't have an ultimate talent. Hmm. He's too suspicious. Or is he too suspicious? An additional motive? Oh yeah, blood in this game is pink, huh? <laughs> Kuma's tired of waiting, yep, apparently. T -t Time limit? What? What? Everyone will die? What? Is this? what? That's not fair! How Jeez! Why'd you guys even come to school if you're not gonna do the killing game? Shut up! You're the one that forces to come here! Quick question, Father. What do you mean by countless Monokumas? I thought we were up once time ran out. Damn right now. Damn right. Let the Exocells do their thing this time. No, no. But I'd rather not go through that again. I'd feel bad if you guys tire yourself out. Yeah, but. But if we let the Exocells get popular, we could have a real cash cow in our hands, you know. The merchandising rights alone would make us richer than sultans. Hmm, Sultans, huh? Very tempting, but... I won't let you kids ruin your futures! You need to have your own kids and ruin their futures! 
The daddy, you love us so much. Oh, That's enough. Oh. oh, you're still here. Of course, we never left. Why? Why are you doing this? How much suffering do you want to put us through? I see. Well, if you're suffering, you all better hurry up and start the killing game. <laughs> then you can say bye bye to the suffering. You bastard. Don't you realize that working together is pointless? So just knock it off already. You know what you gotta do, don't you? You're surrounded by strangers. Neither allies nor friends. You no need to worry about them. Well. Plus, you got the first blood perk. That means the first kill is free. But the killing game is gory, huh? I'm starting to feel a little queasy. Hell yeah! And if they don't plan to play, then they're dead anyway. And that's way more gore -y. I see. If it's gratuitous, over-the-top gore, I might be able to stomach that. <laughs> Forget the killing game then. It'd be better for you all to just die together. Shut up! Shut up and get the fuck back. <laughs> well... What you guys decide next is all up to you. Do whatever you want. You can all die working together, or you can survive on your own. It's your call. <laughs> the Funhouse Part 2, yeah. Then the slice is four and no shit can take time. Yep, apparently. Well, in the Funhouse, they were starving, so it's kind of different, but... Man, father's in the zone. I was getting irritated till he said all that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's toss back some honey to celebrate Papa Kuma's return. Yo, Monadam, go get some pure organic honey. Pour some honey on me in the name of killing. So long, <laughs> After Monokuma left, all that remained was utter fear and despair. Um, what are we gonna do? Nighttime in two days. We'll be here in an instant. There's gotta be something we can do. I can't die. The world needs my genius. I don't like that. Uh, I don't wanna... I don't wanna die yet. Die? Everyone's going to die? Is dying the only choice? You don't need to worry. Atui will welcome you with open arms. <laughs> That's after we die, right? Jeez. We can't panic about something like this. I'll do something about it. Well, then. Did you have a course of action in mind? Shut up! I'm gonna start thinking of one right now! I don't understand. Figures, I didn't expect anything from you in the first place. We gotta fight back, then. Um, yeah, if we strike them with some sneak attacks, we might have a chance at winning. No. What kind of Aikido moves even does... <laughs> what kind of Aikido moves even involves sneak attacks? Gonta wanna help everyone. Come, everyone. Gonta use body. Keep everyone safe. Not cool. You're gonna go against those machines barehanded? Isn't that too reckless? B but we have to do it. If we don't, we'll die. Wait, we still have plenty of time to calculate all possible options. We have no time to be indecisive. We are being urged to make a decision. To die fighting, or die for the time limit. Stop it! Why do both choices involve us dying? How? No way. Are we really gonna die? I don't want to die yet. I'm gonna survive. I'm gonna make it no matter what. N no matter what? Wait, you can't do that, though. Even if you make a mistake, you can't... And then you'll accept the blame? Huh? Because... Will you accept the blame if I die? Nah, people will be sad if I die, you know. Um... Um... Well... <laughs> I'm lying. No one will be sad if I die. But I don't know if the same can be said for everyone else. So that means... Yeah, anyway. I'm gonna take off now. Oh. <laughs> I <laughs> that, yeah.
<laughs> Take off. Where are you going, Kokichi? Um, oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to my room and just think things over. Alone. See ya, Kokichi. Alone in your room? What do you mean by that? Are you inviting me to come kill you? Oh. Mew? I... Not that I'd try to claim that perk for myself. I'm way too classy to kill someone. <laughs> Talking to you idiots is exhausting. I'm gonna go to my room and rest. Got it? Mew, you better not do anything shady, okay? There is no need to worry, is there? No one's going to kill anyone, right? Hmm. Yeah, someone is going to kill. They should just go for the robot. No way. <laughs> That's even worse! Hmm. hmm, so everyone feels that killing is wrong. But why is that? Huh? What? How mysterious. Of course I know it to be against the law, but laws are simply rules people decided on. And this is a space removed from those rules. And therefore, we've no need to follow them. That's Don't say stupid shit like that. Even kids know killing is bad. It's common sense. However, Even if it is to survive? We are as guinea pigs upon a lab table. We cannot be picky about our means of survival. What? What? I only wish to observe the beauty of humanity and witness the death of its sins. So you've no need to fear me. Uh, Kyo? Mm -hmm. Males in the soft sciences are pretty soft themselves, so I don't think he'll do anything. Jeez. He's not wrong, though. If we want to stay alive, standing around grumbling is not going to change anything. Well, as things are, we're not all going to escape together. We're going to die together. Are you guys okay with that? Uh, hold on, everyone. We haven't decided our plan yet. All right already. You can decide that on your own. Huh? Huh? You don't know? Your half-ass speeches won't work on us anymore. You know that, right? Then... So just come up with a plan yourself. <laughs> Stop entertaining the ideas of the ultimate matches. <laughs> wait! Mackie, wait! Well then... I'm just gonna pray to a Tua. Brilliant plan! Yeah, can I just go and think by myself for a little? It's a shame I won't be able to hide all my special art commissions before I die. Okay, Sumigi. <laughs> uh, or that special pillowcase I bought. What should I do? Is that really what you should be worrying about? Oh, hey, the door's unlocked. I didn't notice that. But, wait, you guys. You guys, you can't listen to Monokuma. Everyone, what wrong? Why everyone scatter? <laughs> Fine then. All of you just do whatever you want. This is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. So what else is part of his plan? Is my memory part of it too? If it is, then... Can I even trust myself? Huh? Rantaro, what's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong, he says. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but... Does the term Ultimate Hunt ring a bell for anyone? Ultimate Hunt? Is this like a Mike Hunt joke, like a Ligma joke? The game would go a great letter grade up if, if late game that girl summons a giant to do with this then show that it's 100% real. She just kills someone from two of fist, like a golden sun special ability or something. Why can't a two just punch a hole in the wall, huh? <clears throat> um, what is that? I've never heard of it. I guess he needs blood sacrifices. So if we have a blood sacrifice, then a two can punch a hole in the wall. And to go to blood sacrifice. <laughs> What's the matter? What about it? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Huh? Excuse me. What do you mean, Rantaro? Oh, no. <laughs> it's nothing, really. I'm just a bit confused, is all. Actually. 
Yeah, everyone's a little anxious about not being able to remember how they got here, right? Well, in my case, not only am I dealing with that, I also can't remember my talent. I'm sorry. So, I guess I'm asking you to bear with me if I say something that don't make sense sometimes. <laughs> Wait, oh God. Rentaro? Without looking back, Rentaro just waved his hand and left. In the end, I couldn't stop everyone from leaving the dining hall. Why won't anything go right? I just want to escape with everyone. So why is everything going wrong? I know the answer. It's Monokuma's fault. The one who's controlling him and planned his entire killing game. It's all their fault! She does kill such sacrifice him when the whole trial happens, and during the punishment, the Kuhita sends to carry her away to, to a heaven. <laughs> That's her punishment, she just goes to heaven. Maybe... Fight Monokuma! That only choice we have! Gonta work hard for everyone! Exactly! I will harness the power of Neo Aikido for the sake of all girls! It's no use. I understand how you feel, but it's no use. There's no way you have forced to win in the fight. But... But... Gonta no can do anything else! However, is it wise to charge into a battle without a strategy? That's right. That's true. I get where Gonta's coming from, but we should calm down and think this through. <sighs> okay... Hey, Suichi. What should we do right now? I'm... We need to move. Huh? Huh? Move? Suichi slowly approached me, as if worried of his surroundings, and said in a hushed voice, well, that's... This morning, before I came to the dining hall, I noticed dust from the card reader on the floor. Huh? You mean in the library? Uh, okay. Yes. So when he said we need to move, he was probably hinting at something. If that's the case, then... Shuichi. Shuichi. Can I help you in any way? Uh, okay. Of course, Kaede. But we should go. We shouldn't be talking open like this. What's, the matter? What's up with you guys? What are you whispering about? Uh, uh, we're not whispering. We're just gonna check on something. Hmm. And that thing you want to check is a secret? Um, uh, sorry. All I can say is... Yeah. I haven't given up. I'll show you guys that we can escape from this place. You can count on it. I believe in you. <laughs> I see. Well, if that's how it is, then I'll believe in you. Yeah. Thanks. It's not like me to give up anyway. I've always believed that my wishes can come true if I just work hard enough. I thought it was going to force us to leave. I was kind of like worried. I... I trust you both. But I will also try to think about what I can do to help. The more plans, the better. Thank you, Kibo. Hinting at the idea they need to leave the current location. Uh, we gotta go! Hello! What are you guys doing? The mana in the air is thin today, so my magic isn't working well. I'll leave things to you. <laughs> okay, Yumiko. How dare you stand so close to a girl! I will crush this degenerate male! Huh? Huh? What's wrong with you? She's standing close to me. That's right! Everything! It starts with him just standing close to you. But I know of the games these degenerates play. He'll try to get even closer to you. Um, no. That won't happen. You're overthinking this a lot. No. No. Men are vile degenerate creatures. You must be careful around them. Uh, sure. I believe in you. If that's how it is, then I'll believe in you. I'll believe in the heart of yours that never gives up, right? Yeah. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> what that slide? She's saying shit, but it didn't do the face, so I'll let it slide. Okay. Shuichi may have a plan. His title of Ultimate Detective is not just for show, it seems. If there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. I will support you both. Thank you, Kinumi. Okay, I think I have to call it here for today. 
because I got dinner plans. I don't know if I'll come back later. Maybe I'll stream again later if I finish dinner early, but probably not. Um, next stream, maybe tomorrow evening. Maybe. We'll see. I kind of do some more streams. So, how do I save? System, system, control system, square, or X, yeah. System, save. Shouldn't because I have work? <laughs> okay. I mean, you can always catch the bot. But yeah. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.